Welcome back. Now it's time to work on extra features that we could add to our project. And the, the first feature that I'm going to add is the uh, number of items that we have in the cart uh, above this cart. Above this cart, so whenever the user has uh, something in the cart, we need to display uh, the number of items. So to do, to do this, the first step is that we need to calculate the number of items. So in the project, the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to open up the cart and in the cart called calculate cart. And we can use this uh, function to calculate also the number, the total cart. We can, calcul we can use this, this function to cal calculate the number of items that we have. So to do this, we can here, as you can see here, we have this quantity. This quantity uh, is, uh, is the quantity of each single product. And if we add uh, the quantities of each single product up, if we add them up, we will get the total quantity. So let's here create here total quantity. I'm going to say total underscore quantity. So initially it's going to be zero. And then here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to say total underscore quantity. And then it's going to be equal to a quantity plus total quantity plus quantity. So we get the initial quantity and then we keep adding the quantities of each single product. And in order to differentiate between the quantity and the price, I'm going to say here total price. And here I'm going to say total, total price. And here, total price. So that's it here, also total price. And I'm going to create a new session variable called total quantity, or quantity, let's say quantity, just quantity. So the quantity here is going to be equal to the total quantity. That's it. Now let me save. And this is going to calculate the total quantity if user adds something to the cart or even if user uh, removes something from the cart. It's always going to uh, recalculate the total price and the total quantity. But this is the logic. Now it's time to work on the design. So we need to use the design uh, in order to display the uh, the number here. So before I before I work on the design, let's you this let's continue with the uh, logic. So remember in the header, in the header, in the header, we have this in the header we have this cart icon. Now inside this cart icon, inside the I, I'm gonna say P. I'm gonna say uh, span, span, and then I'm gonna display a number here just to show you where I'm going to be displaying. Let's display any number. Now if I refresh, the number will be displayed here. Of course I'm going to be working on the design later, but now we are go I'm, I'm just go I'm just working on the logic. So to get the actual number of items from the cart, we need to use PHP. So here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add this in a, in a new line. First I'm going to add this in a new line. And then I'm going to add also this in a new line and this in a new line. And then let me show you what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use here PHP. I'm going to open a PHP tag. I'm going to say PHP. And then I'm going to say if session is set session session quantity and and session session quantity 
is not equal to zero, then I'm gonna open here a curly bracket, and then I'm gonna here uh, close the curly bracket, and then I'm gonna close the PHP, and in between I'm gonna display the number by using the span. I'm gonna say span, and then in between I'm gonna say PHP, and then I'm gonna say echo session and then quantity and then semicolon let me now save and let me head on over to the browser and refresh if I refresh nothing will be displayed here as you can see there is nothing here there is absolutely nothing here but if I add something to the cart let me add something to, to the cart let me here click on buy now and let me click on add to cart so now if I add to cart, as you can see here, it's, it's going to display 1. 1 has been displayed. If I increase the cart, if I say here uh, 3, and if I click on edit, it's going to say here 3 immediately. However, if you go to another page, it's not going to be displayed. As you can see, it's not going to be displayed. And the reason is because we need to initialize the session in the header. Here in the header, I'm using the session, but I, I, I'm not, I didn't... Uh, initialize the session. So at the top of the header, we need to say PHP and then session start and then semicolon and then click on file and then save all. Now if I refresh, the number of items in the cart will be displayed in every single page in our website. It doesn't it doesn't matter which page the, the cart will, uh, will the number of items will be displayed here above this cart icon.